Here I'm going to show you my top ideas for crafting on a budget. Now all of us have a craft budget, this is a hobby after all, so we have a minimal amount of money to spend each week or each month. Uh, so I'm going to show you some things that you may actually have already around your home that you can be using on your craft projects or as tools to make your crafting life much easier. Let's start with craft tip number one and this is old paintbrushes and pencils. I adore these. They look authentic and they look absolutely amazing when you use them on mixed media projects, especially if they've already got paint in the bristles that can make them look as if they're used. Craft tip number two is old books. Now I get mine from charity shops and I make sure I ask for the ones that are already damaged. They don't usually cost very much at all and they can make the most beautiful background papers. So then to craft tip number three. Now uh, most of us have these at home and they're nail varnishes. So you can use these on a resistant piece of material and create your own enamel dots. You'll need to allow a little bit of time for each of the dots to dry. Don't put them on a heater though because they'll dry too quickly and shrivel up. But once they're dry you can then peel them off. Tip number four is to use elements from your clothing. These may be new or old clothes. On new clothes, you can snip the ribbons that hold the tops to the hangers. Um, you can also use things like the tags from inside your clothes. Some of these have really fun uh, warning signs, really fun names on them as well, and you can add them to your pages and your cards. Zips are great for adding as well when you've got old clothes and things like buttons from jeans, but also from jeans, sometimes you can cut away the pocket and they make amazing little pockets on mini albums. Tip number five is cardboard. Yes, cardboard packaging is absolutely brilliant for using. Just simply tear it to reveal the corrugated inside. This adds so much texture to your uh, mixed media projects, as you can see here. Tip number six is to use your poly pockets as such, or your plastic packaging. Now you can use these for two things. I like to use them to put my paper or cardstock inside when I'm die cutting a die that has a lot of detail. So I then lay my die on the outside of the plastic pocket and I tape it down just to keep it secure in the machine. And then I run that through my die cutting machine. Now this is going to cut through the cardstock and the plastic pocket, but your die is going to remain clean and everything, all the little bits are going to be kept inside of that pocket. So you then just open it up afterwards and you take out all the die cut pieces, keeping your desk nice and clean. Another way of using the poly pockets as well is to make shaker cards quickly and easily. So use all your old packaging to pop some sequins or maybe even some glitter inside and they are all sealed up perfectly to add to your cards. This next one is one that I've done an awful lot of and that's collecting twigs and sticks and branches from outside. You can dry them out and use them on your craft projects. Also garden twine, go to the garden store, the DIY store is much cheaper than purchasing the alternative uh, fashionable twines. And then also hand lettering, learn how to hand letter. It will save you so much money in sentiment stamps and dies and it really does take weeks to learn. And tip number 10 is digital printables. You can find these all over the web. Simply search free digi print and you will find a plethora of images for you to print off and color at home. 